Hi, this video is basically dealing with the IDA's time domain or scope mode. In order to show that reasonably, I want to start in the spectrum where we are currently looking at some GSM signals and um, we have a traffic channel where we have tuned in that is sporadically active. I have already adjusted the center frequency and now in order to maintain that center frequency I simply click on extras and time domain scope mode so that we will just stick on to the same channel. In order to be sure of that channel measurement now in the scope mode we also have to make sure that the channel bandwidth is still correctly set so for GSM typically we might use something like 200 kilohertz of course we can also take a higher bandwidth but that of but that would of course mean that we would measure several several channels several GSM signals simultaneously so now let me just go back to 200 kilohertz again and um, as you can see right now we have um, GSM time slots popping up once in a while quite a lot actually uh, we could stabilize that view with help of the trigger menu so when clicking on trigger menu we can go on trigger mode and for example on multiple we can change the trigger level you can see the trigger up here actually so we can decrease it slightly you will also see now correspondingly the trigger line and I also want to add some trigger delay some trigger delay you can now see the delay also shifting to left or right and once I'm fine with my trigger setup I confirm that with OK and now I arm my trigger as a consequence now all the signals will always appear in the trigger pattern more or less of course what I can also do as this is now the scope mode I can not only change the frequency and the bandwidth but I can also change the time span so now the time span currently amounts to 30 milliseconds if I want to take an even deeper look onto my signal I can of course also change it to 5 milliseconds for example and by that I will see even more detailed uh, the, the behavior of one time slot of course I can also enter something like 200 milliseconds and I will see correspondingly a much much larger time span there are some limitations with regards to time span that are influenced by the channel bandwidth and by the internal memory of the IDA and for that purpose in the IDA there is also a sub mode when you click on measurement in the bottom this is what we were working in right now the high resolution scope but there is also the long time scope that allows you to record and watch at signals for up to 24 hours so when you click on time span now you don't have any limitations up to almost a day and of course by that you will also see the um, the scope trace moving to the, to the side very very slowly so now just for reference reasons let's take a smaller one and we will slowly see the traces with different detectors building up of course we can activate and deactivate detectors like that okay thank you for watching